wonderful extended feasts that, that can last all afternoon. Yeah, just course after course of yumminess. Does that make us sound like pig smell? Well, yes, maybe it does, but I think, I think that's fair enough. Um, we, love, we love the way that Italian food keeps on coming. What's sort of like a multiple food gasm? A multiple food gasm, that's exactly what we like. Well, we found four wines that are molto bene to drink along the way. Excellent. So, first up, we have the Valdo Prosecco, which is from the cut -off. it's 8.49. And so I'm just going to open it really quickly. I am. Now, the thing about Prosecco is it is just so fashionable at the moment, isn't it? It's extraordinary, it's everywhere. And I'm not usually a fan of Prosecco, but this one actually is really good. It's a nice surprise. It is. We were really pleased when we tasted this at the yeah. club, weren't we? Yeah. Because we both went, okay, wow. Yeah. Is it coming? It is coming. Good. Ooh. Oh, big bang. Oh, I'm really getting some lovely notes of that, just as it's... Now, Prosecco is out. the great variety, just in case you didn't know. It's um, fruity. That normal, I always think it smells of pear, for example. Yeah, yes it does, doesn't it? Fresh new pears. Maybe a tiny little bit of apple as well, mm. sort of slightly. Mm. It is light and delicious. Mm. It's absolutely. Now, Prosecco is partly responsible for the huge mm. sales of Italian wine in the UK. Yeah, along with Pinot Grigio. Yeah, I mean, in fact, it's now. Yeah, we. It, Italy's overtaken France and America. Only I think only Australia is ahead of it. Yeah. Um, this is delicious. Yeah, actually, it is. Mm. I mean, Mel sounds you know surprised. I don't know why she's surprised because well, she knew it was nice after the tasting. I know, but it's prosecco is a perfectly pleasant fizz just for a, a Tuesday night generally. What about a Saturday night? Well, I think this. I think this can do a Saturday night. I think it's you know it's good enough. It's You'd worth elevate it to a weekend wine. I would actually. Yeah, have it in the fridge door just in case. It's some. Um... And what a great way to start out your Italian things. Yeah, as an aperitif. Perfect. Next up, we've got this absolutely fabulous looking bottle. I mean, it looks like an Italian olive oil. It's just it? like an olive oil. Yeah, very elegant and kind of heavy actually. It's it's a Falangina. It's from the Wine Society and it's six ninety five a bottle, um, and it's called it's a Guardiolo Gennari. Gennari being the producer yeah. and Guardiolo being is the region. Yeah, yeah. and that's just um, in inland from Naples. And Falangina is the great variety. Yeah, and it's the two thousand and ten Lovely bright wine, look, lovely sort yeah. of golden colour. Interesting it? smell. Very, mm. um, ooh, difficult to, uh, sort of spicy, but um, savoury. Yeah, so, yeah, it's sort of quite like, strange and interesting. Yeah. yeah, you're expecting something a bit different here, which mm. is quite... I like that. Oh, it's quite good for wine people. Mmm. Mm. Gosh, if you're bored of Chardonnay and Sauvignon, Taste this. This is a really interesting wine, isn't it? Yeah. It's a tasty wine. Really tasty. I bet it'd be good with... Oh, let me try it with an olive. I'm sort of getting kind of a bit of spicy character, but mm. with some minerality as well. Is that that like the deep southern flavour we're getting? Because it's this is right from down in the sand. Mm. And the grape variety. Try yeah. it with an olive. Mm. It is... It's almost like a sweet version of an olive itself, because it's so spicy and... and mm. Very interesting. Now, this would be not just good with your antipasti, mm. but also good with something like a vegetable-based risotto. Yeah, absolutely. 
Right, so we're on to a red now. Um, we've got Saluti. It's a Vina Rossa from Waitrose and it's £5.99 a bottle. And it actually comes with no vintage. No. Now, I was first attracted to this wine because it went so well with my kitchen because I am. Um... Let me demonstrate. <laughs> And what you can't see is we've got a red rubber floor, so it, there's little red things all over the kitchen, and the wine does look... With red bowls. And lots of red bowls and red measuring cups, and so it matches perfectly. Thank you. Um, yeah, on the back label. You read that. Yeah, now this fits in perfectly with our whole, you know, feast idea. Because it says that saluti translates as greetings. Uh, it's a word traditionally heard all over Italy as families and friends open a bottle of wine and embark on a long, leisurely meal. What were we saying? Perfect. Yeah. It's low on the nose. There's not an awful lot on the nose, is there? No, there isn't. But this, but is, this is a rough and ready wine. This yeah. Is, you know, it's, it, it's, it's fresh and fruity, but it's... it's it's not pretending to be anything. No, it's a table wine, yeah. and it's non. The fact that it's got no vintage written on it suggests that it, you know it's not a wine with a huge pedigree. No, but, but it's, it's something. Taste it. It's delicious. It's it's got this brightness and exciting freshness about it. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, it's a sort of yummy little kind of wine for rough and ready pizza. Yeah, pasta. And gnocchi, it's like gnocchi with tomato sauce, or maybe a sort of mushroom fat. sauce. We're just uh, we've just prepared a little. Um, this is a Delia recipe. It's her uh, tart spaghetti or uh, pasta puttanesca if yes, you want it. Puttanesca, proper name. Um, which we'll be eating in a minute. Um, oh, that sounded a bit bloppy. Um, it's got all sorts. Of, it's got tomatoes, capers, anchovies, olives, garlic, chilli. Delicious. It's and it's obviously going to have a bit of parmesan on the top. Yeah. A bit of basil. And I think we should add some spaghetti. What do you think? Yeah. Probably Perfect. some spaghetti. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Can't wait. Uh, and this, this is just perfect. Yeah. For our last wine, we are having another co-op one because actually they so up their game this year. They that, really have. Yeah, we're really impressed with their wines and we just wanted to feature this. It's a Chianti. Um, it's called Villa Carfaccio and it's 11.99 and it's the 2007 vintage. Yeah, and this is a Chianti Classico. So it's come from the, the a demarcated area around, you know, a better site around the Chianti region. It's made from Sangiovese and a few other little grapes, and it's aged in Slovenian oak. Yeah, and a little pointer here, if you're, you know, scanning all your supermarket shelves and you don't know what to buy and you fancy a Chianti, if there's a choice between one that's Classico and one that's not, and you don't know, the go for the Classico. Yeah, go for the Classico. This is altogether a more fabulous smell, isn't it? It's sort of quite yeah. sultry on the yeah. nose, isn't it? It's, it's oaky, it's, it's warm, it invites you in. Yeah. It's really, mm, mm, mm. it really suggests it's going to be a bit of a stunning wine, doesn't yeah. it? Mm. And it so doesn't disappoint at all. That is delicious, absolutely delicious. It's quite a dry taste, isn't yeah. it? A little bit of oak, but it's not oaky. Um, fresh, clean. Very, very inviting. And this is going to be your one to go in your feast with the meat dishes or maybe a really, 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 yeah, rich pasta, yeah. you know, with lots of really but concentrated sort of A wild boar stew or, or ossobucco or something dark and concentrated and gorgeous. Yeah. Or a rich ragu. Oh, yeah. yeah. And actually, with all the olives in this dish here, I think that might work quite well with this. Um, well, it's definitely time for us to eat. So, mm -hmm. while Mel's putting the spaghetti it's into our lovely sauce, I guess we'll see you next week. See you next week. Mm -hmm.